Uh, this is a short demonstration on how to perform um, between subjects analysis of variance using JASP. Um, so uh, our current problem uh, is about the relationship of marital status and life satisfaction. So this is the model that we are testing. Uh, so we are hypothesizing that uh, once life satisfaction is or can be predicted by one's marital status. Okay. So this is our data set. So in here we have two variables. So one is marital status, which is a categorical variable with the three levels. The levels are never married. Uh, married and uh, divorced uh, and then the other variable our dependent variable is life satisfaction and the following are the scores of the individuals uh, when it comes to um, life satisfaction okay. um, so what do you think uh, if we forward a more specific hypothesis with regard to the relationship of marital status how do you think uh, life satisfaction will vary across the different levels of marital uh, status um, do you think that uh, those who are never married uh, have higher life satisfaction uh, uh, do you think that um, those who are divorced have lesser life satisfaction uh, so that is what we are uh, gonna test now uh, for the purposes of um, the demonstration uh, let's hypothesize that those who are divorced um, would have lower life satisfaction compared to those who are never married and married so that is our uh, specific directional hypothesis so to perform uh, between subjects one way analysis of variance let's click on ANOVA and then let's choose ANOVA okay um, so we have here uh, the table for which we will see the output later on let us enter our variable so our dependent variable is life satisfaction and uh, fixed factors refer to our independent variable um, so in the lecture part uh, I've specified that um, in the context of analysis of variance the independent variable is also sometimes referred to as factors so that is our fixed factor okay so this is our um, result um, but before we continue, uh, maybe it's good to, uh, that um, we check some of our assumptions uh, so that we will know if this, this result is valid. Um, right now, we can see that the p-value is less than 0 0.05, uh, which means to say that our f-ratio is um, well beyond the critical f value um, and this also signifies that there are or there seems to be um, systematic co uh, systematic variation in life satisfaction across different levels of marital status uh, but then again uh, to check if our results are valid let's take a look at some of the assumptions so let's go to assumptions check um, and then let's click on one of the more important assumptions which is the homogeneity test okay so the homogeneity test is uh, is remember in t test we had to check for the equality of variance so the homogeneity test is essentially a test for equality of variance we also perform a Levine's test uh, and what we want to see uh, uh, in order to satisfy the assumption is um, 
we want to see an insignificant uh, or non-significant p-value a p-value that is uh, greater than 0 0.05 and um, this is what we have uh, and that means to say that the variation in uh, our data set are the same so um, the, the variation in these scores for this category the variation in this score uh, scores for the married category and the variation of the scores of the divorced are roughly equal so that's what it means okay so we have checked um, the assumptions uh, and we can presume that this is uh, a, a valid result okay um, now another thing that we can check is to check for effect size okay. Um, okay. Uh, plus uh, we also want to see our descriptives um, right now we know that there are significant differences in the life satisfaction but we don't exactly know um, which category had a higher um, had a higher uh, mean and which had a lower life satisfaction so let's go to additional options marital status let's transfer it over to the other side and then let's click on descriptive statistics let's also click on uh, estimates of effect size uh, we will use uh, eta squared for this okay. so first effect size um, so the effect size is this particular value uh, so 0.514 um, the best way to interpret this is by converting this into percentage and if we do uh, what we have is 51.4 percent now what does that mean um, you you can um, you can um, you can express this as 51.4 percent of the variance in marital uh, in life satisfaction can be explained by the variation in the marital uh, status what does that mean that means to say that life satisfaction people have different levels of life satisfaction right uh, some are more satisfied some are less satisfied uh, and the reason why we have different life satisfaction values is because of you know a lot of factors um, such as perhaps wealth relative health things like that uh, but the question is when it comes to marital status or um, if, if we account for all of the factors that 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 causes or that exp that can explain life satisfaction that would be that would be 100% or explaining 100% of the variance but what how much can marital status explain this value suggests that 51.1% per of the variation in life satisfaction can be accounted for by marital status okay um, so that is the measure of effect size okay um, next let's take a look at our uh, descriptives so these are our means uh, so numerically we can see that those who are divorced have the lowest mean uh, followed by the never married and then numerically the highest life satisfaction are those who are married and then th these are their respective standard deviation uh, values um, if we want to see a visualization of that we can click on descriptive plots marital status let's put that over here at the horizontal axis and it will produce this uh, graph let's click on error bar so that we can see the confidence intervals so this is what our plot looks like um, so the question now is uh, ANOVA tells us that 
um, among these three means, one is significantly different from the other, or all are different from one another, but we have to perform a post hoc. Which among these means are really different? Uh, well, visually it seems that this is different from this. This mean is also lower than this mean, but we have to also statistically test if um, what we are visualizing is evidence. And so we go to post hoc test. We transfer marital status over onto the other side. Uh, we are performing Tuki, uh, which is okay because we have equal uh, sample sizes. And the result is over here. So we have here three comparisons. Divorce versus married. Divorce versus married. Is that significantly different? The answer is divorce, married. Yes, it is. What about divorced and never married? Are the divorced significantly have lower uh, life satisfaction uh, compared to those who are never married? Our p-value tells us that yes, they are. What about never married and sorry, married and never married? What about you know the life satisfaction of those who are married and those who are never married? Are they statistically different? And the answer is with a p-value of 0.557 um, no, they are not. They are statistically the same. Okay, so that's about it. That is how you run uh, between subjects one analysis of variance using JASP.